Good day, folks, and uh, welcome back to the Manipur campaign. I am Atrix. We are going for Manipur achievement on very hard, so let's uh, jump right into it. Manipur. I'm not even sure how to pronounce Manipur decent. <laughs> Most people will pronounce it as a money money poor, or I don't know. Many pure, many poor, many f whatever. Money poor. <laughs> Never mind. So okay, um, yesterday we we left the stream at peace for once. I I wasn't fighting a big war. I I stabilized my economy. I stabilized pretty much everything. I started building a trade fleet because I paid off all my debt with a uh, debasing currency. I'm uh, gonna be a 100 corruption soon with minus 20 unrest. <laughs> Pretty funny actually. I just annexed Bhutan. Bhutan annexed Koch. And I don't even get separatist rebels now because the corruption is so high. The corruption is so high that I don't get rebels anymore. Yesterday, somebody in chat was saying, yeah, corruption can be the the new humanism. <laughs> I tend to agree now. 
if you uh, go to 100 corruption, you can avoid high se separatists on, on uh, high stability. I got an, uh, a 50 autonomy floor soon. Because I uh, have 100 corruption, so I'm gonna roleplay uh, as Ming, so to speak, with a 50 autonomy floor. Ming has that due to the Celestial Empire, while well, Manipure will have it too. I'm a tribal government, so yeah, having high corruption, that's... Uh, I'm just roleplaying, uh, playing a, a corrupt gov a tribal government now. Is it handy in a world conquest? Yeah, to some amount, but I would never go above uh, 50 corruption in a world conquest but here yeah people attack me Bengal attacked me Orissa attacked me and I refused to give in I went up to my neck in loans and defeated them all and took all their best states uh, today we will probably full annex Bengal and maybe we could go for Ming yeah, Ming. Ming exploded, folks. That You won't see that for much on very hard, but yeah, they exploded. I'm waiting until Ming goes like uh, below 100% war score, and I hope I keep a border with him. So Karadel or Yu Chang or whoever won't take this border away, so yeah. If I can keep my uh, border with uh, Ming... Then I can do Holy War on them soon. That's the idea for today. Get Holy War, ID group and blah blah. Get Holy War on everybody. Why will, do I want Holy War and not administrative to reform the government and stuff? Well, uh... Cur oh, um, here it shows. Yeah, corruption gives me like minus 50 spy uh, building... Well, what's it called? Uh, blah, blah. Build spy work progress, I suppose? Yeah. So my, my spy that my uh, I only get like well it goes really slow it goes really slow now if they do counter espionage you would get like one zero point ten progress every month and you would need to do two two hundred months in a row to even get a claim yeah I don't want it I want holy war CB I want prestige for my battle so I can uh, farm prestige and get less aggressive expansion. I don't want to pay Diplo points for my pieces anymore. So yeah, uh, I'm going to check when can I take new technology. Uh, pretty soon. <laughs> the deck cost is through the roof because I didn't embrace uh, colonialism. Corruption actually increases all the, the, uh, the, uh, the development cost. I will probably uh, take a new capital here in Berind. It's a temperate climate. Uh, Clot producing flatlands province. Those provinces are the best to, to place your caverns, your capital, and, and to develop them. Clot gives a, uh, a reduction to uh, gives a reduction to developing. Okay, what else did I have to do? Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm already at 43% extra attack cost because I didn't embrace colonialism yet. It's worth noting that uh, it's simply wait what. This is institutions, right? Oh, yeah, so uh, colonialism is slowly spreading. Uh, is this the right map mode? Huh. There aren't colonialism problems? Pers oh, never mind. I thought it got striped. Oh, never mind. Striped, striped is embraced. Uh, striped is present without... Uh, yeah, without, yeah, never mind. So, colonialism, um, it's spreading in the Mamluks. It will probably spread uh, into the Red Sea from there once the Mamluks embrace it. And then it'll spread here. I'm sorely tempted to actually wait for colonialism to spread. It might take decades, but I don't think developing my capital is a good idea. So yeah, what else? Um, I'm, I was, I did build my trade fleet, right? Yeah, I did. Um, I should send the guy to Arakan. I, I barely got him out of the, uh, the co of a coalition with a gift, but I should max out relations. Oh, they actually want to ally me? Yeah, uh, no, I'm not interested. If anything, uh, if anything, I want the alliance with the big guys now. Uh, I am pretty big now. 
I'm, a, I'm actually close 100 development away from being a, 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 a greater power in 100 years in. Uh, I got an alliance with a big Lanar, a, a pretty, well, a tiny shoe, and yeah, that's it. So, I, I will run at least one more powerful ally, so all these very hard, this is very hard by the way, so this all these big nations, especially militarists jump here, won't get the idea to attack me. I'm hoping that Bahmanis, they are improving relations with me. Yes, they are. The coalition isn't against me, but uh, they got a coalition of all the nations around them because they, they got a militarist ruler who took a load of land. <laughs> so yeah, they are improving relations with me. It, it'll be over in May 1533. And I'm here to hoping that they will go uh, friendly. They are allied to, my, to Orissa, so... I'm actually glad now that I didn't rival Orissa because if they if I had, then they would get a, a, a penalty to give me an alliance because they are allied to my rival. So yeah, I, I'm not too. I allied the Timurids instead of Orissa. Was a mistake, but now if I can ally Bahmanis, yeah, it isn't a mistake, so to speak. I got a vassal in Ava. But I made a mistake to uh, let him go disloyal, and then uh, uh, before I knew it, the Timurids and Send me supported their independence. But yeah, I'm not too concerned. In, if they attack, yeah, I'll, I'll simply await them in the mountains and defend. So yeah, they they aren't going to win. Um, there was some other stuff. What what was it again? I should also uh, improve relations with all the small fries that are left. Because I didn't do it yet. They, they won't join a coalition anytime soon, but yeah. Why not? I, I'm, I'm convinced that all these small nations in India will... will, 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 will they will vanish soon. Or is it worth it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I was going to build a fort in Laza. But I don't have the money at the moment. I'm going to have to remember. And also... Uh, I was wondering yesterday during a long walk, I tend to theory craft about my current campaigns during my free time uh, walks and stuff. If I try to sell all of this to Jean Pure, then I would lose my border with, uh, with the Timurids and they can't... I'm pretty sure if you lose the border, then they will stop supporting independence. Where is it worth it? No, I, I'm not gonna sell mountain provinces that I can defend in to jump pure just to uh, get rid of a border with Timurids. Uh, actually, a border with the Timurids would be great if I could somehow culture shift to use back culture like I did in my Jangla Desh run, then I could possibly, possibly form the Mughals if I take on jump pure. But that, that's all uh, way, too, way too far ahead. I'm only concerned and worried about the achievement, so I shouldn't plan ahead for uh, 17th century, really. Uh, I was also ch gonna check if I can abdicate yet. Yeah. Yes, I can. He took the throne. Um, he took the throne when he was 20. It's a really bad chief. 1-0-0. Zero, zero, and he's craven. And he has sip durability. I mean, <laughs> that's one of the worst kings that I've ever seen. A, more, a craven navigator. He would flee to the sea rather than defend in his homeland, so to speak. Because he's afraid of physical combat. Yeah, a high chief that is afraid of physical combat. I I'm